Thanks to Hull University for the questions that have been sent in. Let me just try and go through them in a couple of minutes and see if I can do justice to some of them. The first question is, what's the most important change for the party to undertake if uh, it is to be re-elected? I think it's to become a real movement for change in every community in the country. Uh, the idea that it's the Labour movement that produces a successful electoral machine rather than an electoral machine which produces a Labour movement is at the heart of my campaign. If you go to my website, davidmillerman.net, you'll see my plan to train a thousand community organisers in the course of this campaign because that radical movement tradition of community organisation is key. We have to change the culture of politics in an absolutely fundamental way if we're to become a successful party again or at least a successful party beyond the local level. We've lost 180 seats in the UK since 1997 and we'll only get that back by being a real movement, not just by a more efficient machine. Um, oh, I'm asked to I defend human rights around the world and liberal internationalism. Uh, the Iranian foreign minister said he wanted to slap me around the chops for standing up for the human rights of Iranians demonstrating on the streets. So the answer to that is yes. Uh, I'm asked, have we emphasised equal opportunity more than equality of outcomes since 1997? Equality of opportunity is a very radical idea but it needs us to attack inequalities of outcome as well. So I don't see the two as alternatives. If you want to help a child's opportunity, you have to tackle the inequality of outcome faced by the uh, parents. Uh, the final question I'll answer is about this uh, long-term idea, idea to invest in green energy and dependence on foreign oil. Uh, I talked about breaking our addiction on oil. I talked about oil independence. I, I enacted a climate change bill precisely because I recognise that climate change is not just an environmental issue, it's an economic, energy, farm policy issue. And we can break our addiction if we take seriously uh, our oil addiction, if we take seriously energy efficiency, if we take seriously renewables, uh, if we really are a pioneer of the post-oil economy. And I think that's something that is a source of jobs as well as a source of our contribution to living within the planet's means. I'm just arriving at Wakefield Westgate, but thanks very much for your interest and I hope you'll visit the website, davidmillerband.net, uh, to be part of the campaign, not just to see what I believe in.